For decades, scientists have looked into the depths of space and discovered countless wonders and strange places that boggle the mind. Among these discoveries, one stands out as particularly chilling, vast regions of the universe that seem to have nothing on them. These cosmic voids are so devoid of matter that their emptiness is both fascinating and terrifying. What could cause such a vast void? And what secrets do these voids hide? For more than 30 years, these mysterious regions have baffled scientists who have tried to understand the true nature of these empty spaces. Recently, scientists have made amazing advances and discovered new insights that are both exciting and alarming. Deep in the universe, analysts have discovered a vast starry sky, places where the light of millions of galaxies and countless stars should shine brightly, but instead there is only darkness and emptiness, those strange space-time anomalies stand out sharply from the rest of the cosmic environment. They seem to defy the known laws of physics and represent a possible new and unexplained phenomenon. Because of the remarkable absence of matter, these vast cosmic deserts challenge conventional expectations of Einstein's equations of relativity and raise profound questions about the unity of the structure of the universe. The size of these voids, spanning millions of light years, defies conventional cosmological understanding. Imagine a single beam of light traveling at nearly 300,000 kilometers per second and taking thousands of years through one such giant void. These regions are so large that they can exceed in scale some of the largest known structures in the universe, such as the Virgo Cluster of Galaxies or even the Laniakea Supercluster. Despite the vast void, these voids are not entirely devoid of matter. Scientists have discovered individual galaxies that live as lonely beacons of light in the infinite void of space. The existence of these individual galaxies makes these voids even more terrifying, making us rethink our understanding of the cosmos that we are facing a cosmological discovery that could radically change our scientific understanding and understanding of the universe. What causes these huge empty areas in tissue space? Are they the result of natural cosmological processes, or do they indicate phenomena that we do not yet fully understand? These structures, which have puzzled scientists for so long, are vast cosmic voids, empty spaces of such epic proportions that they cannot be the result of mere chance. They must have a special purpose or be the result of incredibly violent processes in the cosmos. Point one particularly notable example of these structures is the Boötes void, which NASA describes as a vast void millions of light years in diameter with almost no visible matter. This void was first discovered in 1981 by astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team, who named their discovery, the Big Man. At the time, astronomers believed they had discovered a unique anomaly. Little did they know that this void was not the only one. Many of these voids are known today, some even larger than the Boötes void, such as the Eridanus void, which stretches over 500 million light years, and the North Local Super Void, which also reaches impressive sizes. In total, thousands of these voids are currently known, and they constitute a significant part of the universe. When we talk about the nothingness, darkness, and emptiness of the universe, terms like black holes, dark matter, or dark energy naturally come to mind. Whether and to what extent these phenomena are related is an interesting question. In fact, some theories suggest that the size and distribution of voids can provide deep insights into the nature of dark energy. Dark energy is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, but it may also be intricately involved in the formation of these voids. From particle physics, we know that where there is no visible matter, there is necessarily nothing. There is very likely an invisible form of matter that we cannot see simply because they do not emit light. In void like regions, dark forms of matter may be more common than in other regions of the universe. For this reason alone these structures are highly sought after research targets. To make the dimensions of the gaps more concrete, imagine the known universe as a football field. Galaxies and galaxy clusters would represent small points and clusters in that field, while voids occupy most of the region. Galactic clusters and superclusters make up only about 10 to 20% of the mass of the universe, the rest being the voids and spaces between them. It reminds us that, according to scientists, the universe is about 85% dark matter. Are those vast empty spaces and their distribution like mirrors showing the distribution of matter in the universe on a large scale? 
Can voids help us understand phenomena like gravity and dark energy? Voids allow cosmologists to study the effects of gravity in environments where large amounts of visible matter are not directly present. Gravitational effects in and around the vacuum, on the other hand, appear only through the motion of visible matter. For example, some galaxies in these voids still show gravitational effects when we probe the light from objects behind the voids. As vast as the void is, one day it will reach a spatial end. If there are galaxies beyond the void, their light travels through the void to reach us. Some observations can provide information about how gravitational forces act at great distances and with little visible matter, which in turn can lead to conclusions about the distribution and properties of dark matter in the vacuum. Voids are also ideal for studying their shape and thus the growth rate of these huge voids. This, in turn, allows us to conclude about dark energy. To do this, the researchers studied the geometry and dynamics of the cavities in great detail. Imagine that our galaxy is located in the Boötes void. So let's go back to when astronomers first realized that our Earth was a planet in a galaxy. Astronomer Edwin Hubble first realized in the 1920s that there are more galaxies in the universe. The Andromeda Nebula and other similar objects were first seen by Hubble in 1923. Soon after, Hubble was able to prove without further definition that these nebulae are independent galaxies outside our Milky Way. This discovery was, of course, groundbreaking, and you can imagine how it changed people's understanding of cosmology at the time since then the universe grew and grew. Today we know about 2 trillion galaxies and can observe up to 45 billion light years in all directions with powerful telescopes. If Hubble had lived in a galactic vacuum, he would not have been able to discover another galaxy in his lifetime. He would have seen only darkness and might have thought that the universe outside the constellation was a vast void, only in the 1960s did our technology advance enough to see as far as a scientist in a vacuum would have to see to spot his first galaxy outside his own. An imaginary scientist in the void would get the idea from his perspective that the universe is very sparsely populated. In the 1980s, we may have encountered the first cluster of galaxies, and we would be surprised to find in a scientific journal that there are mysterious clusters of galaxies in the universe for which the science of this fictional world has no explanation, our picture is just the opposite. We humans began our exploration of the world, which was long thought to be the center of the cosmos. Then we looked at the sun and other planets and finally realized that all the stars are other suns and that there might be planets. Our science has grown linearly from our perspective, and discoveries that were initially inexplicable have provided new clues about what the world and the universe really are like. The voids show us that our view of the universe is still very one-sided, and that what we consider normal may be the exception elsewhere. During this journey through space, we are constantly challenged by the vastness and mystery of the universe. The discovery of these vast voids forces us to rethink our understanding of space and time. What is hidden in these empty spaces? Could there be unknown forces at play? Are these voids windows to new dimensions or remnants of ancient cosmic events? Exploring these gaps more deeply reminds us how much we still have to learn about the universe. Voids may hold answers to some of cosmology's deepest questions, from the nature of dark matter and dark energy to the fundamental structure of spacetime itself. Each new discovery adds to the mystery and brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, imagine standing at the edge of one of these vast voids, staring into seemingly endless darkness. What would you see? How would you feel, knowing that this void is home to isolated galaxies whose light has difficulty traveling vast distances? The thought is both humbling and exhilarating, a reminder of the endless wonders that await us in the universe. As our technology advances, we will no doubt discover more of these enigmatic voids. Perhaps one day we will understand their origin and role in the great tapestry of space. Until then, the voids are a frontier of conquest a testament to endless possibilities beyond our current knowledge, together, the discovery of these vast cosmic voids will challenge our understanding of the universe and open new avenues for exploration and discovery. They remind us of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos and our constant quest to discover its secrets. As we continue to explore and learn, we can only imagine what other wonders and mysteries await us in the depths of space.